Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, what does Hako and Ingersoll Rand have in common? Hmm. Oh, this here gives it away. Flasher 5. Well, <clears throat> a while back, I had this FM202. And we'll pop the top. And I'll pull the board out since it's already loose. Um, did all the diagnostics work, and we had a bad CPU. Well, I contacted Hako. You know, Hako is a repair tool company. Um, they make soldering iron so people can repair items. And, uh, well, they're not right to repair friendly. Because I asked them if I could get a copy of the firmware. Uh, they basically said, no, not until the law makes us give it to you. So, um... I have another one of these, but I did not want to uh, pull the chip and risk damaging it because these are pretty old and they're pretty sensitive chips. I did order another chip from China. It is here somewhere. I thought I threw it in the bag, but I did not. Um, now, my Zeltec, it will program that chip out of circuit. Uh, well, not. This is the programming header for in-circuit programming. Um, the Zeltec will not program it in circuit they do not support it so there's only one programmer um and that is a flasher five so they are very expensive on the used market because they are obsolete and hard to find so don't just stick with oh it has to be um a name brand uh well ingersoll rand's a name brand but they also have a part number for a Flasher 5. And here it is. What you get in the Ingersoll Rand kit is a battery and adapter. And I guess these are for programming um, rotary, com rotary compressors. Um, you get an adapter... Adapter with a ribbon cable. And you get this little blue box, which is the programmer. Um, so I already tested this one. And it updated the firmware to the current firmware. It is a genuine Seeger. Uh, it's a Flasher 5 2016. Um... I didn't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on an adapter for this chip because it's a special adapter for that chip. And I'd probably never use it again. Um, this does a few different chips that my Zeltec will not do because they are so old, so obsolete. Um, so it'll be handy to have around the shop. And I got it for a really good deal on eBay, believe it or not. Um, so to talk to the computer... I just used an, an Ethernet cable and two DB9s and made one a null modem. Um, to be able to talk to the Hako, I'm just going to use a DB9 and I'm just going to make me an adapt uh, plug in and I will plug it right into the uh, programming header of a good FM202 and I will dump the firmware. And uh, I will list down below in the description the personal blog post of the FM202. And uh, there's other programmers that will be able to program those chips out of circuit. But I do have the current firmware on another unit. Um, Hako requires you to send the unit to them. They cover the shipping. It costs $10. Um... And they will update the firmware for you and send it back. Um, but you're out a oh, couple weeks um, waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and it should you should not have to send it to the manufacturer to update firmware. Um, so, and especially if you 
end up with a failure of a microcontroller, you should be able to re get that firmware and reprogram that microcontroller. If they want 10 bucks for the firmware, th that wouldn't have been a problem. I would have given them 10 bucks. But uh, for the firmware, I would have given them 20 bucks for the firmware. Um, <clears throat> now it's going to be public. You are welcome, Hako. And uh, I'll link it below. Um, I might not get to it really quickly here. But uh, I got to find that chip first. I know I ordered one. It's floating around here somewhere. It came in about six, seven months ago. So I uh, might have to order another one. But uh, that chip <clears throat> is a... Give me one second here. is a Renaissance M38030 series 9FFFP. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to do this on camera when I do dump the firmware of the good one and bring that one back to life. Um, I'll try to do that on camera also. Um, getting my stuff set up here. It's taken me some time. I'm just me. So, uh, I will get to it when I can get to it. I'll see y'all later. Happy New Year again.